What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel Practically Home. I'm Aubrey and if you guys are new here, hi and welcome. Today we are at my sister's house and we are going to be styling her built-ins in her living room. These are the shelves that we are going to be styling. Take you around, I'm gonna show you everything that we have picked out and purchased, and I'm also gonna give you a little sneak peek at the beautiful plants that we snagged at Sun River Gardens as well. Shelves. We're also picking up some of these really beautiful raw woods. This is for her shelves. This one's for her shelf. This is for me, but they're only 22 bucks. And I know I got a couple comments in my last video when I showed like a miniature one. I, anyways, I get them from the store and they're so cheap. So I love them. Anyways, I love that this one's larger because it's so fun. So whatever we don't use for her shelves, we are also we are going to use in her entryway cabinet to style that. So whatever's left over, we'll use all that decor for her entryway. So for her shelves, we have a bunch of artwork. These are from my print shop that she really loved. We got some candlesticks, lots of raw woods. We got the baskets. We got a handful of new books that we are gonna use. My sister loves to cook. She also loves plants. She loves styles. So anyways, home books. Lots of great books I picked out from Home Goods. We have these beautiful baskets, lots of glass, lots of raw woods. And this is pretty much all the filler that we are gonna use. And I'll show you, these are the beautiful plants that we snagged at Sun River. You can kind of get her vibe, lots of terracotta pots. This is the same pot that I have. And we picked out this new little succulent plant today. And then we also snagged some of these teardrop plants. These are hands down my favorite. These are gonna look great on her shelves. Also because they have these really long, beautiful vines. And you guys will see that styled on her shelves. We are gonna start off by clearing off her current decor that she has on her bookshelf. For the looks she wanted for her built-ins is she really wanted them to look effortlessly placed. So we are gonna play around with placement. We're gonna play around with sizing. And to start off, I like to start with my largest pieces first and then we add the smallest pieces last. So first I'm gonna go ahead and add these baskets. I purchased these from Target, and these were actually a little too wide for her built-ins. So instead of, it, instead of laying them flat, we propped them up, and it actually worked out way better than I had thought. It adds a lot of color, and it takes up a lot of that white dead space. So you will notice how I style these bookshelves. I like to place everything at a diagonal, so everything will be across from each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some artwork. I picked up these black slim frames from Home Goods, and I picked up a few from Target as well. Frames can be really expensive, but these ones were very affordable, and the prints are actually from my shop. So next I'm gonna add this charcuterie board. I love the color of it. It also ties in with her floors and her coffee table, and so I love the roundness too. We're not gonna do everything rectangular or square because she already has a lot of straight lines. So I love this charcuterie board. It's just gonna add some soft round edges. Next, I go in and I start adding the smaller frames with artwork in them. When it came to choosing artwork, we chose some landscapes, we chose some abstracts, and we also chose a nice watercolor to balance it all out. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I added these bowls, I added that plant holder that I showed you guys we purchased from Sun River Gardens. 
And then next she also has this beautiful horse statue that we purchased at Home Goods probably a year ago that I just love and it's just too pretty not to showcase. Next I'm adding these glass vases. These I purchased from Target. Those are about $10 each. And on the left side, I'm adding another charcuterie board, but in a more rich walnut tone. And I love the rectangular shape of it. So I like to get everything up on the shelves first. And then once you have everything somewhat placed, then we're going to take a step back. We're going to look at it. What do we like? What do we don't like? And then we're just going to move it around. So you can tell that I have the baskets are at a diagonal. The layered artwork is at a diagonal. We have the candlesticks. Those are now placed. Those are at a diagonal. So you guys at least can get a feel for how I like to style these bookshelves. Next, I found these really beautiful wooden bowls from Home Goods, and they actually came in a pack of two. One's a little bit larger and one's a little bit smaller, and I just love the color of them, and it just helps tie in the rest of her home. These are the teardrops and, well, at least they're called teardrops. And they have these really beautiful long vein vines that just hang down. And I really wanted to have them drape over her shelves. She has a lot of height and these shelves are really large. So I needed some stuff that's going to add some color. It's going to add a good size and it's going to add a little bit of a dramatic flair. So these plants are so great. You could also switch them out for ivy. You can do pretty much any green plant that you love, but as long as it drapes down, that's what you're going to want to add for some dramatic effect. Next, I'm going to go in with some picture frames. She forgot to get her pictures printed up. So currently right now we just have some picture frames. And I also love this cognac color of a vase. This is from Target as well. Her rug pulls a little bit of that color, so I wanted to add that to her shelves. I have this really beautiful paper mache bowl that I wanted to add to her shelves. So I ended up layering this bowl onto two of the coffee table books that we got at home goods and i really love the look of that so then i have this marble tray from target i'm gonna actually put this behind these candlesticks that are sitting on books as well and i really love how that looks it has a nice layered effect it also carries that paper mache color stone or stone color over to the left side of the shelves and i really am liking what we have so far I have these two jars still that I'm not quite sure about the placement yet, so I think I'm just going to hold on to them for the moment. She has this couple statue, which is this black, it's this couple that is hugging, and we really want to find a place for that. So I put it up on the left hand side, and then I also have these glass vases, which we are going to add some vase filler in very soon. So I'm going to put those stone vases right here by the basket and I think that looks very balanced. So next we are going to head over and we are going to fill up these vases. I bought these at Target. This vase filler is from Threshold from Target as well. Each box is about $10. I got a variety of vase filler. We have moss, we have wood chips, and I also bought some dark olive faux limes as well. I'm going to go ahead and open up this box and we are going to fill two of these vases with the moss. Next, we're gonna go in with these wood chips. I really love these. These are a driftwood, and it has the perfect neutral tones that we need to add to her shelves. Sorry. Like we could do something like this. That's cute. And then we can bring more black and color to this side. Oh, 
Because we have the black, the tall black candlesticks. And let me put the candlesticks in real quick. And I also have like these plants right here. Yeah, I saw those. Honestly, I think these two dark green ones are so cute. I will link all of the artwork from my shop that we use in our shelves down below in my description box. And thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.